limitations of GDP, limitations of gross domestic product as a measure of standard of living. Yeah, most of the times all countries use GDP, most countries use GDP to determine the standard of living. So let's look at the limitations. The first limitation is that it does not take into account the type of goods produced. GDP is about output, so they, 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 they do not look at the type of goods produced, whether they are consumer goods or capital goods. Yeah, and capital goods do not contribute directly to the standard of living of the people. So it does not take into account the types of goods produced. Another limitation is that it does not take into account the efforts applied on producing output. All they care about is the final output. They do not care about what you put in. So people might, might think that they work day and night just to produce. Yeah, so if they do not have enough rest hours, it means that the standard of living is low. But GDP does not take into account the efforts applied in producing the output. And another limitation is the impact of economic activity on the environment is not directly taken into account. When production is high, the higher chances that the environment is also being affected, maybe over-exploitation of the resources, pollution, things like that. But GDP, it does not take into account the impact of those economic activities on the environment. Then it does not take into account factors that may be important to people. Other things that may be important to people, for example, clean water, clean environment, it does not take into account such things. All they care about is the output. It does not take into account income distribution. Remember, GDP per capita is always the average income per individual, but it's not the real income that every individual earns. So a, a country may, may be that the rich are very rich and the poor are very poor, but when you come up with the average income, it be high. So it does not care about income distribution, whether all people are almost at the same level. It does not take into account such. Then another limitation is that it does not account for inflation, which is important in the determinant of wealth. They do not care about whether the prices are high or low. All they care about is the output of goods and services. So it's also a limitation of using GDP as a measure of standard of living.